Hello guys and welcome back to Hatchet Has Reacts 2. As you probably noticed, I am wearing my gown as it is 2.36 in the morning and it is quite chilly over here. So I just wanted to keep myself warm. But anyway, we are here to take a look at Detroit Become Human, a closer look at the E3 2016 demo. But yeah, I am really really looking forward to uh, playing this game when it comes out as it is made by Quantic Dream who did Fahrenheit, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls so this is the latest game coming for the PlayStation 4 so without further ado let's take a look and as always the link for the video is in the description hope you enjoy Peggy 18 Peggy 18 I spent my life taking orders now it's my turn to decide. Oof. My name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of uh, Detroit. It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage in the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. So Detroit is a neo-noir thriller set in the near future in the city of Detroit. And uh, in this world, technology made possible the creation of androids that look, speak, move exactly like human beings. And they have replaced that humans bit looks like you can control it. Well, the existence of androids uh, is, um, creates a very ambiguous situation and relationship with humans because at the same time, humans become very dependent on these androids because they do all types of jobs in society. There are workers, there are nurses, there are teachers. So we really need them. That's true, jobs. that's going to be the future. Time, that is sadly going to be the future one day. But androids are, are absolutely not considered in this society. They are just machines, they are just objects, and they are treated as such. And when the story starts, some of these androids start to have strange behaviors. Uh, they start to disappear without any reason or even start being aggressive towards humans. It's as if they were overwhelmed with their own emotions. It's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen one day. In Detroit, we play more than one character. So we introduced the character of Kara at Paris Games Week with playable character. Uh, and here at E3, we wanted to come with a playable scene just to show how the game plays. And uh, we introduced another character. His name is Connor. And uh, Connor is a very uh, advanced prototype uh, of Android. Uh, it was designed to help human investigators uh, working on cases involving deviant androids. He can, you know, analyze a crime scene, he can detect clues, he can recoup things, he's equipped with uh, ballistics. You know, yeah, for Samurai, there was a lot of opportunities for this particular scene. From. He is really cold, <coughs> very smart, very clever. Uh, and he's only driven by one thing, it's accomplishing his mission at any price. You lied to me, Connor. All our characters are real people. We do a casting session and uh, we find the right actor for the role and then we scan his face in 3D, we scan his body, recreate his avatar, get wow. him on set in um, performance capture and record his performance. We wanted to push the limits with uh, Detroit and have an engine that would offer us some um, more features regarding cinematography in particular so we wanted to work oh, on uh, no, uh, realistic no, uh, lighting especially so we redeveloped entirely a new engine from scratch pretty much we also work on physical cameras nice uh, having new engine virtual cameras that work pretty much the same way than real cameras we worked on skin shaders we worked on air shader eyes shaders we worked on translucency, which allows you to, when you have a strong light behind you here, see that your ear becomes red. We play with all these technologies, and players don't need to care about all this because it's just. I like details like that. I like and details like that. But actually, we really enjoy doing these things, and we hope that players, even if they, are, they are not interested in the technology behind all this, will like the results on screen. Well, the script of Detroit is thousands and thousands of pages, and it's really uh, a complex script is. in many ways. From the very first scene, very first second of the game, you start to see things having consequences in the scene and maybe beyond the scene. And uh, of course, as you move on in the story, it becomes more and more complex. We tell different individual stories from different androids, and they start as, as separate stories, but of course there will be a point where they will connect and interlace and tell you the big story. Uh, and uh, it makes things even more complex for me as a writer, but mm. hopefully more exciting also for the player in the end. My name is Connor. This is our story. Nice. I can't wait to play this for you guys. I really can't. 
this is going to be one epic PS4 game. for the players. Yeah, I'm pretty sure many of you guys out there are looking forward to playing this as well. But um, yeah, I believe that um, in July, the um, remastered version of uh, Fahrenheit will be coming to the PS4 at some point. So be sure to check that out, guys. It, uh, it is an absolutely amazing game. But I do have it on the PC via Steam, but it, I had problems with it. You know, like if you died and you wanted to uh, restart a certain part of the game, it wouldn't restart. It just it, it wouldn't load whatsoever. But hopefully, fingers crossed. If it's true, I will be getting it on the PS4, and I shall play it for you guys. It is a really, really fantastic game. But yeah. Detroit Become Human looks very interesting indeed for me. Like I said at the start, it, it is more or less the future, sadly. That will become the future one day. But, anywho, 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 I will be playing this game for you when it does come out, definitely. But there's so many choices in this game. Judging from the trailer that we saw a while back. <clears throat> So anyway guys, do hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. The link for the video is in the description as always. So I'll just back to you as. See you soon with a new video.